All right, everybody, today's video is all about one subject, and this subject right here is one that's probably scary to a lot of us. What happens when you get a bad haircut or a bad hair system install? Now, as you probably see right now, I'm wearing a brand new hair system. Now, this one right here, you're probably thinking it looks a little bit off. It looks like it doesn't perfectly fit. Now, let's break it down to begin with, right? So this hair system, I went in and I said, I want it to look a little bit longer than the style that I just currently had. So I want the bangs to come down, maybe another extra half an inch. And uh, I'm just trying to basically grow out the side so I can have everything like a little bit longer flowy look as opposed to just having a disconnected front and then all of the sides being a little bit shorter. Now that's the style that I was wearing before because the hair on the sides and back of my head were very, very short. I've been growing this hair out now for a couple months. Hair takes time to grow, right? So let me tell you a little bit about the situation. I had gone to a hairstylist who had never worked on a hair system for my last hair system. She was a barber and a stylist and a colorist, and she said that she was willing to try. And she did a pretty good job. Now, that being said, the unit that I was wearing was too dense as far as how much hair was in it. I knew this going in, I told her this, and she was able to do a pretty good job of matching it up to my natural density and also giving me a very realistic look. Now this time around, to be quite frank, this woman up and quit her job basically left the salon the day before my appointment and the shop owner who is a great man said hey man i'm really sorry about all this kind of stuff this is what happened uh if you're okay with it i can set you up with our other barber i said yes of course it's it's not a big deal we'll work through it now when i went to visit that man uh he had never worked on a hair system before like the other woman and i could tell that he was pretty nervous I showed him a picture, this is what it looked like right here, what I'm showing you on screen. The look that he gave me is not very similar to the look that I asked for. I know that I asked for a little bit longer hair in the front, but as far as the rest of the hair system, uh, he was not able to achieve the look. And you know, this may happen to you. This video is important because it will help you understand how to handle an event like this where you come out and you expect to look a certain way and you just don't. First off, I think that we need to recognize the situation that we're in, right? We're choosing to do this in an economical way. I'm going to a barber because it's way cheaper and also closer than going to a hair system stylist who's specifically trained, has gone through courses, has spent money to get better at working specifically with those with hair systems. This guy had no experience and honestly he was covering last second. So I'm not mad at him. Um, so let's just take a brief look at my hair system right now and kind of analyze what's going on with it, right? So this is what it looks like from this side, right? Now this is what we're gonna be talking about for most of this video right here. So let's look at the back. And then let's look at the other side. Okay, so most of my complaints are over here on this side of the head right here. Now the reason that this is the problem area very specifically is one, Let's just get the elephant out of the room. This unit right here is too dense for my natural volume. I know this and if I get comments saying your hair system's too dense, doesn't look believable, it's too much hair, I know. And if I get those comments anyways, I'm going to timestamp this so that way you can see that I said this, I've said this in many videos. But even if a hair system is too dense, you can still get away with it, but it has to be blended correctly and it really requires more attention to detail. So what's happening right here is up on the top of my head, right? I have a lot of length. This is a lot of length. I don't know if you can see it. This is a lot of length and the length extends all through the top of my head into the front, right? Now, for this particular hair system, because it is so dense, all of that weight that I am parting over here, because I've kind of got like a side part and I'm pushing it over, all falls right in this region, right in through here. Now, because it's so much weight, because my natural hair doesn't have that density, and 
my natural hair isn't long enough. Remember that my natural hair is only this long right here. It's only maybe an inch and a half, two inches long. This hair right here is probably somewhere in the range of about four inches long, perhaps. The blend just isn't right. And add all of the extra weight on the top of the head up here is falling over to the side, which is making it somewhat problematic. Let's just say what it is. So that's the reason that this unit does not look fantastic at the current moment. Now, is it passable? Absolutely it is. The average person on the street is not going to know that I'm wearing a hair system because it's a little extra dense up top. And if you're feeling insecure when you get a hair system and it's not the correct look, like if you go to a barber and you ask them to do their best and they don't do a fantastic job, it's okay. If you walk out of there and you're like, man, I really don't like this right now, but we don't have any more time, it's gonna be okay. It's not gonna be the end of the world. It's not going to be the make or break that people say, oh, you're wearing a hair system, or oh, I can't tell that you're wearing a hair system. Well, only you are going to know that it's not perfect for what you are looking for. Now, that being said, if this happens, let's put it in perspective. These people don't really know what they're doing with a hair system. They haven't been trained and accredited and certified to work with this stuff. They haven't spent the money and the education to learn all that kind of stuff. So keep in mind, you are essentially, and I am essentially a guinea pig. And with that being said, they're not gonna get it always 100% of the time right on the money. So with this particular situation that I'm going through, I am actually gonna go back. I'm gonna return to the stylist and I'm gonna ask him, to remove and to cut some of the uh, density, some of the length up here, so that way this unit blends a little bit better on this on the sides of my head right here as my sides and back grow out. That being said, guys, keep in mind, like you're gonna be okay. Even if you have a bad haircut, even if it doesn't look 100% believable, this whole thing is a journey. Your haircut today, your hair system today is not the hair system that you're gonna be wearing even two, three, four, five, six months, whenever you decide to change your hair system, you're not gonna be wearing this hair system any longer and your hair is gonna grow out. This is not a permanent thing. It can feel like the end of the world, but honestly, not that big of a deal. So remember that, don't get carried away with the fact that it can feel like the world is falling down and like somebody has failed you, when in reality, they've actually done something that's probably outside of their comfort zone and something they've never done before. So keep in mind, like we're really disrupting this entire industry, right? Like this business was so expensive to be a consumer of only a couple years ago because no one had the secrets. It was all locked behind doors and we didn't know how to do this stuff ourselves. And now we're posting content on YouTube we're seeing barbers and stylists saying that they're willing to try and work with this stuff and you know what some are getting certified and they're charging higher prices and that's fine but if you want to go and ask a barber to try to do this work for you sometimes it's not going to be perfect just keep in mind life is about progress not perfection it's about the journey and it's going to be okay at the end of the day so this isn't so much of a how-to video but more so of a you know just Stay positive and realize how good you have it in life. You get to fix your hair loss with a hair system. Anyways, guys, remember, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell below. That helps everybody on YouTube see this content. And we will see you soon.